Hello everybody. In the previous two HTML5 canvas tag lessons, we learned how to draw some things into the canvas tag using JavaScript. Now before we go any further, we have to discuss fallback content because not all browser software will render the tag and in that case, you'll want to serve up some alternate content. Because you have to keep in mind when working with HTML5 that not all browsers are ready to render everything that it's capable of offering us. But most of the new browsers are. All right, before we toy around with our code, let's discuss the logic of the fallback content. What happens is, in an old browser that does not support the uh, HTML5 canvas tag usage or rendering, all you do is simply put some HTML markup, whatever you want, inside of the canvas tag, and that old browser will ignore the canvas tag and just show that markup instead. Now, if the browser is capable of handling the canvas tag the way it should, like most modern browsers do, it will ignore that p tag, for instance, or any markup that you have inside of the canvas tag. It will be ignored, and the canvas tag will render the way it should, where you're drawing into it through JavaScript, or you're animating into it through JavaScript. Okay, so now you understand how the fallback content works. In older browsers, they will show the markup inside of the canvas tag. In the newer browsers that do process the canvas tag correctly, they will ignore the content that you have within the canvas tag and process the way it's supposed to using JavaScript and the draw methods. Now in the code we're going to do, this is a page that is drawing a very simple rectangle into this canvas tag here, but it's not doing any checks to see if this user might be using an older browser or something, you know. So what I'm going to do is go into the canvas tag, go down a couple of lines, and inside of the canvas tag I'm just going to put an image tag to an image I have on my server called fallbackimage.jpg and that will show to people with older browsers that don't have the canvas tag support. Now we go up into the JavaScript now and right before we set up the CTX variable here we're going to put an if condition. So let's put ourselves a comment right there and then let's type in the if open close parentheses open the curly brace and then go under the CTX drawing method the last drawing method there and then indent those to where the drawing methods are now inside of that if condition. And we can highlight that canvas dot get context and place it right in. And what that'll do is give you the evaluation you need to see if the user's browser can actually support these draw methods into the canvas tag. And then and only then will the draw methods execute. And I'll run it in Firefox. In there. So Firefox shows the little square that I was drawing into the canvas tag because it supports the tag use. But if you were using an old browser, you would see this little fallback image. And this canvas tag would be completely ignored. Okay, so that's the logic of fallback content. It's very simple to understand. And nobody will have any problems with people viewing their content in older browsers.